Going to be testing out Return to Castle Wolfenstein on the Lenovo IdeaPad 5. It's the Ryzen 7 4700U variant. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. It uses 512 for VRAM. Steam's having a Bethesda sale, I think, for QuakeCon, so it's only $1.50, even though I already have it on CD-ROM, but I have not played this game in forever. I don't even remember what kind of computer I had when I was playing it. I do remember it was 640 by 480 resolution that I was running it in. So I'm going to be using um, MSI Afterburner, although when we get in the game I'll show you, th I don't think it's actually accurate. Um, 3200 MHz memory, although in here on the official AMD driver it reports it as 1333 MHz, I don't understand that. And I'm running it off of battery power right now with normal intelligent cooling. Uh, before we open the game, I just want to show you something real quick. Well, here's more of the specs, but it does have a scaling problem. So the game by default will not support widescreen resolutions. It doesn't have um, any official patches for it, so I downloaded a patch. Uh, let's see where it's, it's right here. And I'll put a link in the video, but it's this one right here, the Win32 binary going to be this zip file and what you're going to do it's going to replace a bunch of the game files in here and then one file inside this main directory just go ahead and just replace the files with it and it's going to replace this executable and I think a bunch of these DLL files but this will enable widescreen support but even with it fixing that the game does have a scaling problem where it'll render the screen larger than your screen to fix that, what you need to do, and it's just it's the same as for Call of Duty Mobile, is you need to go to Display Properties and change this. Drop it back down to 100%. It should fix your scaling issue on whatever resolution you're trying to run it at. You might have to hit Alt-Enter a couple times to toggle it in and out of windowed mode. But, and this is where I got the AMD driver I'm using their newest one. I think this one is dated yesterday. So, start up the game real quick. So. Alright, so you see down here, Reva Tuner switched to OpenGL 91 FPS. There is a problem with that. So the system, we got it at 1920 by 1080 widescreen. All these widescreen options are going to be part of the patch. They got everything set to max right here. So everything's cranked up. Uh, you can't turn on ATI Trueform on here. I tried it, even though it's the AMD card, um, it just disables it. Um, I also bumped up the sound to 48 kilohertz. I think by default it's half that value. game options yeah sync every frame so I have it on yes for vsync on it's always going to say 91 fps in here and OpenGL and I tried this on another laptop too and I don't think Riva Tuner works correctly with OpenGL so it's not going to show the correct frame rate but it is going to be pretty smooth so back up out of here Play. bring it on try to skip past this stuff here So this loads up decently quick off my external hard drive. And I already redid my keyboard bindings ahead of time. And the other th weird thing that Reva Tuner does on here is look at the uh, GPU memory speed. It always reports it as 1200. Even though the AMD driver said 1333 and Windows says 
This is the old Quake 3 engine game, and it was hard as hell. I uh, remember I beat it on PC. I think the game was pretty long, and it's set up in a weird way. Or I don't think there's a mini map. You just have to memorize everything. can interact with something. Oh my god, why is he missing? through the game trying to remember it. There's no waypoint markers in this game. And the enemies do this weird thing where they they do like a stagger when they get shot. And what I heard on the review is that stagger animation actually makes them invincible temporarily. Some of this interactive stuff, there's uh, secrets behind them, so that's why it encourages you to break everything. But yeah, we're at a locked 91 FPS with VSync. behind you and uh, if you throw oh, see that like I say secret if you throw um, a grenade at them they will kick it back at you forever. Sorry, just messing with the shift key. I keep messing up with this keyboard. Amazing how they saw me through the floor.
for an old game, these graphics still hold up. Still hurt me that late. Switch to the knife. Yeah. Pick it up. a little lost. Fucking trying to crouch and bumping the fire key. Open foot lockers. Oh, here's the end. I miss three secrets. Yeah, that's this old game on this newer, thermally efficient laptop. Got some frame rate drop. <laughs> Actually, let me do one more. Just to demonstrate it for you guys. Um, sync every frame, turn it off. You'll see it doesn't change. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>